Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2023 Toyota Sienna Platinum all-wheel drive. Let's get started. The 2023 model year brought a couple of minor changes to the Toyota Sienna, the first of which being the new 25th anniversary special edition, which was a limited edition run of 2,525 units. And the second change is that the cement color is now available on XSE and not just the Woodland edition. In this video, I'm going to take you guys on a walk around of this Platinum Sienna, which didn't get any updates for the 2023 model year. Under the hood, we have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, which makes 245 net combined horsepower. And that engine is paired with an eCVT transmission. The gas mileage rating for this Sienna is 35 average MPG, which is 36 in the city and 35 on the highway. And the platinum all wheel drive starts at $52,355. This one after all of its options and destination charge is $56,290. The Sienna takes 18 gallons of 87 octane fuel, and at 35 miles per gallon, you should be able to get around 630 miles per tank. In this overview, we're gonna go over the exterior of this van, and then we're gonna jump inside and talk about some of the features. As usual, we're gonna start in the very front, and I always like to start by talking about the paint color. So this is Toyota's Windchill Pearl. It's a pearl white, and that's not to be confused with their ice cap color, which is their more basic white. In the front here, we have these bi-projector LED headlights with LED daytime running lights built into them. And around the headlights, you can see that there's gonna be a lot of chrome that sort of runs into the center of this front where the Toyota emblem is. And around this entire van, we're gonna be seeing a lot of chrome features. Right underneath the Toyota emblem, we have our dark gray metallic front grille, which does also have a front mounted camera just right above the license plate frame. And right off to the sides of that license plate frame, you also have some of the front parking sensors built into the front grille. Also built in at the bottom of this front grille, we have these wide angle LED fog lights. Moving up to the windshield, we have these rain sensing variable windshield wipers. And moving up to the top of the windshield, there is a front mounted camera. The Toyota Sienna does have Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, which does use that front mounted camera over there, as well as a millimeter wave radar, which is built in behind the Toyota emblem. Moving on to wheels and tires, this Platinum Sienna has these 18 inch metallic alloy wheels and the tire size here is 235-60-R18. While we're down here, we can also see this black side rocker that runs at the very bottom of the front and rear doors from front wheel to rear wheel. Next up, let's take a look at the side mirror, which actually has a lot of features built into it. Firstly, this is a color matched side mirror and it does have a turn signal indicator built into the side. Moving around the side of the mirror, you can see the blind spot monitor indicator and these are also heated mirrors. The side mirrors are also auto dimming, power folding, and they will also tilt down when you put the Sienna in reverse. Under the side mirror is a puddle light as well as a camera, which is gonna be used for that panoramic view monitor, which we'll show you inside the Sienna later. One last thing about this side mirror is that its position will also be remembered by the car using the memory seat function. Taking a look at these door handles now, we do have keyless entry on all four doors around this Sienna, and we also have these chrome accents on the door handles. Now you do have these lines on the top of the front driver and passenger door handles so that you can lock the Sienna just by tapping right here. But if the Sienna is locked and you have the key nearby, you can use the smart key system on all four doors. So by just pressing on this black button right here in the back, you can go ahead and unlock the Sienna and open the door. If you wanna unlock the Sienna using the front doors, all you have to do is put your hand behind the handle. And that right there will unlock the van. One more thing about these rear sliding doors is that they do have a kick to open and close function. So we have these three lines down here on the side rocker, where if you have the key nearby, like it is in my pocket right now, and you come up to it and just do a kick right over here, it'll unlock and open that sliding door. Closing this door from the outside can be done by pushing on this black button, pulling on the handle, or by using this key. On the key, you do have this second row of buttons right here where you can hold down on the left or the right side to open or close those doors. Around the windows, there's a lot of chrome that goes over the top and around. And then at the very bottom, we have some black plastic and that does also include the areas between the windows. Behind the rear sliding door, we have our fuel door. Like I mentioned earlier, the Sienna takes regular 87 octane gas and it's gonna be 18 gallons of it, which should get you around 630 miles. Now this fuel door does have to be opened from inside the cabin. At the very top of the Sienna, we can see the sunroof here, the chrome roof rails, and the color matched shark fin antenna all the way in the back. Taking a look at the Sienna from the side, you can see that the rear windows are a lot darker than the front windows. And that's because Toyota puts their privacy glass on the Sienna from the factory. 
Moving on to the rear now, we do have this spoiler over here that does cover a little bit of this rear glass, and we also do have a rear wiper back here. We also have another blue Toyota emblem because this is a hybrid, Sienna spelled out letter by letter, LED taillights back here that sort of make this L shape with this black piece of plastic that goes all the way down, an all-wheel drive badge, platinum hybrid badging, two reverse cameras back over here, and then down below, we have this black and chrome rear bumper that also has our rear parking sensors back here. If we go all the way down below the Sienna, we can see we have one single exhaust tip down there. There's three different ways to get into the cargo area from the outside. The first way is gonna to be to use the key. The second way is gonna to be to use the kick to open and close. So we do also have kick to open and close for the trunk cargo area. And then the last way is just gonna to be to go ahead and push the button, which is right next to the reverse cameras. In the cargo area, every Sienna is gonna have seating for three. As you can see right now, all three chairs are folded down flat into the floor. And also over here on the side, we do have this sort of stowaway, which this is used mainly on eight passenger models, where if you're not using that center seat, you can stow it away over here. If you do get a Sienna that does have the spare tire package, you'll also see the spare tire over here. In this case, it's just a little area for storage because all of the Platinum Siennas come as seven seaters, and this one here didn't come with the spare tire. Down here, you can see we have the wireless headphones, which come with the Sienna when you do get the entertainment package. We'll show you guys that screen in the second row later. But over here, this is the part number. If you ever lose one of the headphones, you can order a replacement if you want the original headphones. We also have a first aid kit over here. On the other side is a 1500 watt, 120 volt power outlet here in the cargo area. This is a $300 option on the Platinum Siennas, so it's not gonna come on every single Platinum, but if you do get that $300 option, it'll not only give you an outlet back here, but also one in the second row. For those that will be sitting in the third row, you do have two cup holders over here, a USB type A, USB type C, an input for you to plug in your headphones, as well as a little volume adjuster for using those headphones. This right here will adjust the volume of what is happening on the entertainment screen. Moving up over here, we have this tiny little window for the third row passengers, and they do also get a sunshade or peasant blocker back here. To fold up and use these third row seats, it's a two-step process. So first we're gonna go with number one here. We're gonna pull this chair up and forward. And the second step is gonna to be to recline the seat. So we're gonna grab on the strap right here that says number two. We're gonna pull back and recline it to where we'd like it to stop. Once you have it in a position where you want it to stop, just hold that seat and let go of the strap. It's gonna be a little hard to do this with just one hand. So I'll use my elbow like this, let go of the strap, and then it stops in this place. If you wanna change where the seat is reclined, you can pull on this strap again and then let it go once you have it in a good spot. But you do gotta hold that seat in place. You can see I'm letting go of that strap and the seat's kinda of running away from me. And even if you are using the third row in the Sienna, there is plenty of legroom for the passengers. And there's also still plenty of cargo space because you have all this space down below now where those seats used to be. Folding the seats down is easier than putting them up. All you have to do is grab on the number one handle, bring it back towards yourself, and the seat will just go down into the ground. Another thing that third row passengers will get is their own air vents in the back, as well as their own light controls in the back here. And now that we're leaving this cargo area to close up this lift gate, we can again use the key, use the kick, or we can press on this button right over here. If we press it once, it's just gonna close the lift gate. If we press it two times, it's gonna close the lift gate and lock the entire van. Next up, we're gonna jump into the front row and talk about some of the features, but as usual, we're gonna start off with the door panel, and at the very bottom, there is storage for about three water bottles. We have one of the 12 interior JBL speakers. Right above that speaker, there is space for more storage. Another smaller storage pocket right here, which you can use to open and close this whole door. There is also gonna be auto up-down windows on all four corners, a window lock button, lock and unlock for the entire van mirror controls, auto folding mirror controls, memory seat controls, and we also have a chrome door handle. And the door panel is made up of some soft touch plastic, noble brown leather, and hard touch black plastic. Shifting focus over to the seats, this here is the noble brown leather, which is the only interior color option for the Platinum Sienna. So every single Platinum is gonna have this exact color interior. Now these leather seats are also perforated because we do have ventilated seats on the Platinum. And then at the very bottom of this seat, you can see that they are power operated and they also do have lumbar support built in. Before we fully get into the Sienna, we also have plenty of buttons down here beside the steering wheel. Firstly, we have a release for the fuel door a button to turn the power doors off if you ever need that. Just down below that, there is a release for the hood. 
We also have a traction control off, automatic high beams, on and off button for the 120 volt power outlet, heated steering wheel, and a button to turn on that 360 degree panoramic view monitor. There's also going to be a brightness control for the center gauges and an odometer trip reset. Just above this entire row of buttons is a small little shelf where you can place some smaller objects. Right next to all of that, you can also adjust the steering wheel positioning using this little button right here. So it is a power adjusted steering wheel. Sitting inside of the Sienna Platinum now, you can see that the steering wheel is also that same noble brown color and that also includes this airbag. Around the airbag and steering wheel, we also have plenty of buttons. So starting from the right side, we have some of our safety sense controls like radar cruise control and lane depart assist. At the very bottom row, we have our audio and multimedia controls so we can skip and rewind tracks and change the volume. The left side up over here is gonna help us control this seven inch multi-information display, which we'll show you in just a second. Behind the steering wheel here, we have our headlight controls and wiper controls. And then behind the steering wheel, we have a button to turn on the emergency lights and our blue power start button. So let's go ahead and place my foot on the brake pedal and we're gonna press this blue start button. Let's see what it looks like. Taking a look at the gauges now, we have that seven inch multi-information display in the center and we can configure this using these buttons here on the steering wheel. So we can go ahead and use this down arrow and switch around all the different things that we're seeing over here. We also have this one right here, which shows us different settings. We can scroll left to right within all of these menus over here and configure it around pretty much using these buttons on the steering wheel. Also on the gauges over here on the right side, we have our speedometer and our fuel indicator. And the left side over here has our hybrid system indicator and our engine temperatures. Moving upwards to the dash, you can see a large cutout right there and that's because we have a heads up display on the Sienna. So I'll zoom into it so we can maybe pick it up on the camera. On the camera, it's probably gonna be flashing, but in real life, it doesn't flash like that. But there is a heads up display which is available on the Platinum Sienna. Shifting our focus over to the center, we have this nine inch touchscreen, which did not get updated at all this year. A lot of other Toyotas got Toyota's new audio and multimedia software, which includes Apple CarPlay wireless and wireless Android Auto, but the Siennas didn't get that upgrade this year. So instead we still have their old software. We do have navigation built in on this Sienna and it does still have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but you do have to be plugged in via the cable to use those. If you don't wanna plug in by the cable, you also can just use regular Bluetooth. And we have these shortcut buttons on the side over here, which are kind of a thing of the past. The shortcut buttons on some of the newer Toyotas are starting to disappear. Just below that nine inch screen, we have our HVAC controls. Now the Sienna does have a four zone climate control and we have two of our zones here in the front. So we can control a different temperature for the driver and a different temperature for the passenger. There's also buttons to turn on heated and ventilated seats for the driver and passenger side over here. Just underneath the HVAC controls, we do have a wireless phone charger over here, which is sort of on this like tray that slides across the entire dash over here. And we also do have a USB type A port. This is the media port that you're gonna use if you wanna use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Following that storage shelf, we have our shifter over here. This is a eCVT transmission, so it does have the ability to simulate gears. We can use this sport mode and then shift up and down. We also have these different drive modes over here so we can switch between sport normal and eco mode and that'll also display on the gauges as you change them around we have ev mode as well an electronic parking brake and a brake hold function there's also going to be two cup holders off to the side and a little area over here if that wasn't enough cup holders for you you've got two more cup holders back here those cup holders then lead into the center console and around the center console there is this padding right here which you can use as an armrest as you're driving then to open up the center console, we can push on this button right over here. It's gonna open off to the side and you can see it's a very deep center console where we do also have a USB type C and a USB type A port. Next up, we're gonna jump into the passenger side and starting off with these passenger side seats, you can see that they are power adjusted, but the passenger seat does not get lumbar support. Over here on the door panel, you can see it's pretty much more or less the same that we saw on the driver's side. So still the same amount of cup holders and water bottle holders over here. Another speaker, more storage. This time we just get less window and mirror adjustments. And also while we're over here, we can take a look at this pass through that's created with just the way that this Sienna is laid out over here. The way that the center console and the shifter area is laid out, 
There's a huge pass through from the driver's side to the passenger side where you can place some more objects. And we also do have a 12 volt power outlet back over there. Sitting in the passenger side over here, we have this continuation of that shelf from earlier where it has this wooden material and the passenger can place their smaller objects. There's a lot more chrome even in the interior of this Sienna. So it's not just the exterior that has a bunch of chrome. And also here on the passenger side, we have our locking glove box, which is pretty small for the size of this van. Everything is huge in this van except for the glove box. This entire interior is that noble brown leather, or as I like to call it, the poop brown, including the steering wheel and the dashboard is no exception. Even the dashboard up here is entirely made of that noble brown color. I guess the only exception to the color rule in this interior are gonna be these tan plastic pieces that are sort of sprinkled around to brighten up this interior. Moving upwards, we do have a digital rear view mirror over here, which you can flip this switch here in the center if you wanna use it as a regular mirror, but you can flip it back like this to switch it back to a digital rear view mirror. There's also three home link controls so you can pair up your garage remotes to open your garages or gates. Moving further up along, we have some light controls over here. We also have an emergency SOS button, a little area that lets you see the reflections of everybody who's behind you. Our sunroof controls are also over here, and we have two more controls to open and close the rear sliding doors on the driver and passenger side, as well as a button at the very top over here to open and close that lift gate in the back. The visors are also very large in the Sienna, so we can fold them down over here. We have a mirror and a light built in. You can swivel them around just like this and you can extend the entire mirror for some extra coverage if you need so. We can also take a look at the sunroof over here, which we can open and close this sunroof shade here by hand, or we can go ahead and push on this button right here and it'll open up the entire sunroof and it'll take this little sun cover here with it. Next up, we're going to jump into the second row of the Sienna Platinum, which is probably the best place to be if you are going to be riding inside one of these. Firstly, all the Platinums are going to have the seven seat configuration. So you're always going to have just two chairs back here with a little area in the center where you can walk through to the back to get to the third row. And you can see that if you do get the seven seat configuration on a Sienna, you do get the super slide feature. So you can slide the seats all the way forward, pretty much touching where the passenger seat is and you can slide them all the way back where it's gonna be touching the third row. Now what really makes the Limited and the Platinum super cool is that they get the Ottoman seat feature. So if we just pull up right here like this, it'll slide out this little extension where you can rest your legs and recline your chair as you're being driven around in the Sienna. Now being in the second row over here, there's plenty of space. We also have pockets behind the driver and the passenger seat. There's gonna be a USB type A and a USB type C over here. That second 120 volt power outlet because that is an option on this Platinum Sienna. We also have an HDMI input for the screen. Two cup holders down here. We also have this grab handle over here so that we can slide in and out of the Sienna very easily. And being in the second row, you can also open and close the doors by yourself. So you do have a button down below here, power door where you can push it and that'll open and close the door. Or you can just actually grab the door, pull a little bit and it's gonna close the rest of the way. Opening is gonna be the exact same thing where you can just pull on the handle or press on that button. So the second row in the Sienna Platinum is great, but the real party comes if you get the entertainment screen. Now this is a $1,400 option, but you can press this button right here, open up the screen. You're also gonna get this little remote over here and those headphones that we saw earlier in the cargo area. But we have a remote over here, an HDMI input. We can then extend the, our ottoman chair out so we can pretty much just lay down, recline the chair. We can watch a movie, a TV show, play games. And also over here, there's also a sunshade. So we can put this all the way up, have total privacy, be totally reclined, listening to music, watching a TV show, watching a movie, playing games, pretty much anything back here. And we also have two more climate control zones here in the second row so we can control our own temperatures for the driver and passenger side. We also have heated seats for both the driver and passenger side of the second row. The second row is also gonna get plenty of light controls over here, their own air vents, their own grab handles. The second row is really the best place to be if you're gonna be inside one of these Siennas. Now let me get a better angle of this seat over here. So we have the Ottoman style chair, two armrests over here so you can rest both of your arms you can kick your legs out and we can slide this all the way back. So even if you're a taller person, 
You have all of this room right here to watch things on that TV screen. You have the sunshades for the total privacy. I can go on and on about how awesome it is to be in the second row of one of these Siennas. That's gonna do it for this week's overview of the 2023 Toyota Sienna Platinum all-wheel drive. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you all next week.